there are a number of things we are achieving by releasing the new integration between Handsoft and Helix Core. And of course, the ambition here is to allow you to be able to plan and track and version everything that you do as a product developer. And this is an integration that we will improve and deliver many more features to over time. But the focus for this first release has been to maximize the developer and artist productivity. And I will come into more details about that in this demonstration I will show you today. Secondly, what we want to achieve with this integration is to make sure that Handsoft can act as a single source of truth for your plans and tasks and Helix Core for your files. So this integration is very much about having very, very clear responsibilities when you're choosing to use best in breed tools like Handsoft and Helix Core to manage your product development. However, you do not want to sacrifice any automation or productivity gains that you can get by combining the two products in one solution. Thirdly, this is an integration that offers traceability. So Handsoft is going to have much more visibility into the actual change lists. And in Helix Core, you can have a much better visibility into what tasks are these change lists associated with. And the fourth goal we're achieving with releasing this integration is that it's very easy to install and set up. So those are the four things I want to talk to you about today. And if we start by going through what we're trying to achieve here more about what's the purpose of each product and you know why are we so focused on an integration between Handsoft and Helix Core, uh, what we're trying to integrate and trace here is that Handsoft is a project management platform. It's used to manage things like when are you going to do certain things? And the benefit with Handsoft is that you can combine different ways of planning, such as Scrum and Gantt and Kanban methods, as you like. But Handsoft is also very much a, a resource planning tool. So who is going to do things? When do people have the capacity to take on a new epic or how does the allocations currently look like for our verification team, for example, or the team of artists that we have that is working on a different site. And lastly, Handsoft is a tool that is there to help you structure and answer why are we doing certain things? What is it we should be doing? What does our priorities look like across our product backlogs that we have? And of course, also, if you have a portfolio of many different products, Handsoft is a tool that has quite a few different portfolio features. But the main users tend to be people that are maybe you know, team leads, producers, project managers, and so forth. Helix Core on the other side, they own everything that's going on in terms of the what, all your IPs, all of your, your digital content that you have is stored securely. And the main users are normally people that are, for example, developer or, or artists. So what we're trying to create and what we are creating with this integration is a complete solution with providing all of these needs into a single package where also you will have and I will mention also uh, another component called Helix Swarm, which is used for code review, being a part of this at the moment. And what we're doing then are delivering a couple of different capabilities. So if we start by talking about what we have added on the Helix Core side, we have added a couple of things into P4V. So I'm going to jump into P4V here. And this integration works with any P4V version from 2021.1 or later. And we're using P4VJS and we're using something called HTML windows that you can either deploy centrally or you can go in and add them as a, a tool here if you would like to set it up yourself as a user without the involvement of, of administrators or similar. And what you're going to get is a right click option on change lists. So you can right click on change lists and you can say, I want to add this to this change list to a hands of task. Very similar to how you add reviews or create reviews or show reviews and so forth. We're trying to replicate a similar type of use case for those of you who are using Swarm at the moment. And Soft is now a right click option on, on the change list to make the connection because the changes it what is relevant here. We were trying to make sure that you can track when we're changing something on the digital content. Okay, what task does that relate to? So Handsoft then can aggregate that information up to a total overall picture for large teams that are working together. This works both for pending change list and submitted change lists. So this pending change list already have a connection to a hands of task, as you can see in this 
hands of description and you have a, a URL there pointing you to the actual task. If I change over to my submit to change list, you can do the same thing here. So if I'm right clicking on this one, for example, add to hands of task, what's happening now is that we're opening up your uh, a, a window of the hands of web client directly in P4V. So I'm just going to authenticate you now as my user Steve. And this takes me to my to do list. So my to do list is exactly what it sounds like. I'm seeing my things and I'm seeing them in a ordered fashion here. And what I can do then is that I can say that I want to add this change list to this task too, for example. But I could also either update something here saying, you know, this is now in progress or I can open up the task and I can choose to uh, change any of the other fields that I have in Handsoft. So what this gives you access to is really everything that is related to you in Handsoft directly from P4V. And once I'm done doing what I'm doing here, I can simply close this and now everything that I need to do has been done here already. And this is already a submitted change list where I'm, I'm not able to, to update the description, but there is different options there on pending shell uh, change list, what you would like to add to that description. So that is what's going on in the P4V side. You can open the web client easily. You can add tasks to change lists. And if you're doing that to a shell change list, it will update the change list description automatically with task information. If we're now moving over to the Handsoft side, there are a couple of capabilities for adding there as well. So the change list information, once you click that add button, is now being added to Handsoft as well. So if I go into Handsoft, this is, as you can see, a part of the planning view in Handsoft we're looking at now, where we're having a sprint object. We've got a couple of people working together and Steve here is uh, been working on task two. So Steve still has quite a lot of, he's still allocated more than half of the half of the time available in this sprint, but the other people don't have much to do. So if we're looking at Steve right now, he got a couple of different tasks. This one is now in progress. He's already done with one task. He got 16 hours left. And we can see that so far he has added changes 462 from uh, this workspace. And this was the description that that uh, change list had. So if I'm now going back into P4V here quickly, and I'm going back to that add house of task here, we can take another change list for the sake of it. And I am here. What you're seeing here is a real time view. So if we do like this, we put house of side by side with P4V in the background there. And I'm adding now, let's say, three more tasks. More work. I'm assigning them all to Steve. And I'm saying that this is all going to be very high priority. As I'm doing that, this is updated here. Right? So now I can immediately, Steve, go in and, and start adding these to my change list. So imagine this capability now if you would be working in a distributed fashion. And you can add multiple of these, by the way. You can have a conversation as you're talking about things as a team lead, for example, with your team, and you can add work, you can update them, you can get this traceability between the products immediately. And what I've did now, added three tasks to one change list, means that we have added comments on each of these tasks. And of course, this is also something you can search for in Handsoft as you like. So I can say comments should include CL441, for example, and now I see those that has that change list to them. So the three ones we just added. And to link back now from uh, this view into the uh, Helix core world, we're actually linking back into Swarm. So if I'm clicking the link here in the comments, we are coming back into Swarm and we're seeing the actual code changes. So we can do our look at the, the reviews and things like that if, if we would like to. And we will also see that if we did this for a shell change list here, now that we could uh, had added a custom information now automatically. In this case, it's a link and that's useful because that's just going to take me back into Handsoft. So let me log in as Steve here instead. And 
and then we want to open up our change list let's see what that went here and then we open up this in handsoft application and that's where we can see that we have uh, a connection between helix core handsoft and swarm so those three things are working together now important to note is that that traceability can look in in different ways so the comments are always going to be published in handsoft but if it comes to the Helix core side, you actually have one option there, is that what do you want to add automatically to that change list description? So right now I use the option to have a URL, but you can also have a choice to say that I do not want to add any additional information, or I would like to add an item name instead, or I would like to add a database ID. So that's a choice you make as an organization. What would you like to add to your change list descriptions that you need to get full traceability between the two products? And depending on how you use Helix Core today, of course, you may choose different options here. And we have also added one more uh, convenience feature here, which is that you saw that I had some login. I had to log in a couple of times during this demo. So what we have done is that we've added a token system. So that means that me as a user can go in and I can manage tokens in Handsoft and I can create a new token that I use to log in with where I can have custom expiration dates or no expiration date. And that means that I will not have to do those type of logins over and over again. It will be stored uh, safely on, on the client side there. So I can uh, work efe efficiently without having to log in an extra time every time I would like to associate the change list with a task. It will just remember via this token who you are and also that you have the right to see these tasks and to update them by adding comments or changing status. I also mentioned that this is an easy integration to install and set up. And actually, if we're looking at the different components that are involved here, the user will be using P4V too. And that's why we're using this HTML window action to inter in interface with Handsoft. But everything on the Handsoft side is actually in the Handsoft web service that's the integration is built into that. So you don't have to add any extra components, add any extra things. Uh, installing the Handsoft web service, which gives you the web client and other things, the web service API also now gives you the Helix core integration. So it's just about upgrading that web service to get started and then make sure that you add these, these actions in P4V in the way that you prefer. And then of course, P4V can be connected to as many P4Ds as you like. And the Handsoft web service is connected to a house observer of your choice. So it's easy to get started with. It's a highly useful integration for productivity boost for developer and artists and make sure you get high quality data, both in Handsoft as well in Helix Core. And we're looking forward to hear your feedback on what we should do next on improving this integration further. Mm -hmm.